Hey guys, welcome back to Sussex Squad Forever. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And guys, karma, karma, karma has now descended on guess who? Dan Wooten. Dan Wooten is being exposed for the predator that he is, a criminal, a harasser. Oh my goodness, you'd never believe. Dan Wooten is criminal someone who was preying on young male young male employees who used to work for him so here is it is guys the pontification of one particular pandit however has left former colleagues gobsmacked given his own past pros- propensity for sexually harassing younger male members of the staff who worked for him both inside and outside the office members of the hr department at his former employer openly admitted protecting him during investigations into his behavior at least one of which resulted in an employee being moved to another department to avoid his boss's attentions while a number of bullying complaints against the same man resulted in staff living with payouts Asked by I if this also involved non-disclosure agreements in 2018, a spokesman for the company said, I'm afraid we're going to have to decline to comment. So here is Dan Wooten's ex, someone who's very close to him. This is not an insider. This is a person that he was involved in. And he said, this is Dan Wooten and the things he has done that have been covered up by News UK are mind-blowing. He goes on to say, I know this because I went out with Dan Wooten between late 2009 and early 2013, the worst period of my entire life where I was stalked by him to the point he had all the passwords for my social media accounts and email without my knowledge until I caught him out. Guys, all of these people who have something to say about the Sussexes, they are just slandering the Sussexes to hide the fact that they are the real criminals. The real criminals. These are people who are a menace to society and they should be behind bars. Dan Wooten, every day on GB News, running his mouth about the Sussexes. Today, all his sins are being exposed. You cannot treat people badly and think that your own is not going to come out. Harry and Meghan have done nothing and this is what he gets for destroying their lives guys i'm so happy oh my god that dan wooten is being exposed for the criminal sexual predator that he is and you will not see this coverage anywhere because they're still trying to protect him a man who should be locked behind bars for harassment so this guy goes on to say When I found out that my Gmail account was being regularly accessed from the News of the World office where he worked at the time, I was an idiot though and allowed myself to be emotionally bullied into not leaving him. But then I found out more. While Dan Wooten was in New Zealand visiting his family, I stayed at his flat to cut seat and one day while doing some laundry, I found a hole all stuffed down the back of the washing machine it was locked with a padlock so naturally i wanted to know what was inside it and i found an external hard drive on it i found a video of one of dan wooten's supposed friends a son employee an intimate moment with his boyfriend the video clearly was made in secret and filmed from afar by a hidden camera in the same folder as the video i found a transcript of an msn conversation between the colleagues partner and someone called Martin Branning, whereby an arrangement was indeed made to make the tape in secret without his colleague's knowledge in exchange for 500 pounds. I knew instantly that Martin Branning was done. I finally got the courage to get out of the relationship and a couple of months after leaving him, I randomly bumped into a guy I had briefly dated around the time I met Dan in a bar. He asked me what was happening in my life, so I told him about the breakup. And the first thing he asked me without me saying a word about it was, what's the deal with this Martin Branning guy? Literally chilled me to the bone because it was the first time I'd heard anyone else say that name out loud. And it was equally disturbing as my first discovery. Martin Branning had been messaging this guy, encouraging him to try and hook up with and make 
videos with several people including one of my long-term ex-boyfriends and Dan himself for money. He had no idea that Martin Branning was nothing more than an alias and that he was chatting online with Dan Wooten himself using a fake profile. At this point, I knew that if I'd randomly bumped into one random person from my past who brought him up, that the Dan slash Martin thing went much, much further. And I was right. Fast forward to 2020 and the night that Caroline Flack died, I didn't know her but I'd met her once or twice through Dan and she just seemed like an incredibly nice human being. Like many other, I was absolutely sickened by Dan's fake tears over her death. So emboldened by a few drinks, I took to Twitter and my on my old account and told the story of what I found in the hold all behind the washing machine after several tweets. Within a few minutes of the tweets going out, I was contacted by a mutual friend of mine and he's who on behalf of Dan put a ton of pressure on me to take them down, which I regrettably scared about the consequences from, da from Dan because he is terrifying dead. But I shared them because I knew if I did that someone would recognize the branding name and I was right. That had been seen and shortly after I received the following messages from a former colleague of his who told me that he and a number of other colleagues from the sun had been harassed by Martin Branning. I've been here is that other person. Alex without prejudice and please strictly between us for now. I remember you sent me some pretty colorful messages back in the day, water under the bridge and all that. You mentioned emails from Max Branning. I received messages asking me to do quote unquote private work for ten thousand euro ten thousand pounds tax free. Just pose nude, etc. It has been causing a great deal of stress and upset for a number of people I know too. Felt like blackmail or entrapment. I showed my wife she agrees it should go further. I have taken advice from police and lawyers. It was faceless until now. Would you be prepared to discuss? Guys, oh my goodness. Just the fact that these tabloids are hiring predators who are harassing people the same tabloids who will not let harry and megan rest are the same ones who are hosting all these predators oh my goodness you guys dan wooton is a predator and he needs to be stopped he needs to be stopped he will go on tv and talk all these things about the sussexes when behind closed doors, he is nothing but a monster. And he has been exposed for the predator that he is. Dan Wooten is now in the spotlight. He likes to put the Sussexes in the spotlight for lies. Today, all his dirty secrets have come to light. He thought no one will ever find out of his misdeeds. Wow, Dan. Now we see your true colors. He had the audacity to say all these things about the Sussexes when he is in fact the criminal, the one who is doing all these nasty things. And we can see now it's a pattern. All these people, the BBC presenter, Prince Andrew, King Charles being criminally charged for honors for cash, all these criminals, are they talking about because they are the only people with integrity honestly this is really shocking this guys this is really shocking i'm going to leave here a link for that account so that you guys can just go and read the nasty nasty things that dan wooten has been doing behind closed doors it's really really sickening you guys it is just sick and these things must be brought to book. Dan Wooten should face criminal charges because what is going on? So this guy says he cannot reveal the senders publicly because of the fear of Dan's litigiousness, fear for their jobs, wanting an easier life. 
toxic masculinity getting this story out has felt like the longest slog because it needs to be out there and i'm not deleting these tweets this time since 2020 i've personally spoken with the police about some incredibly serious allegations against dan nothing came of it but i shared details of everything i know and i know others have spoken to the met about things he has done and so far it has gone nowhere but I've learned more about the abuse of colleagues who were bullied and paid off by News UK to protect their star until I guess he was no longer worth the investments of what was being spent to do so. Just I know many of his victims have not come forward, but they did know about at least some of his problematic behavior and they protected him. Guys... The tabloids are protecting these predators and it's really, really, honestly, it is very alarming. It is very alarming. Can you imagine the number of people who are going through all of this? The ones who are afraid to come out because they are scared for their jobs, that they would be fired. They're scared for the backlash that would come with it. They feel ashamed. And it is this tabloid, Dan Wooten, who has the audacity to blabber about the Sussexes when behind closed doors, behind the curtains, away from the camera, he is doing this to other people, to young men, stalking them, threatening them, filming without consent for 500 pounds, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I'm so happy the entire world has seen his face. Now he has nowhere to hide. Now everyone knows exactly what he's made. A disgusting predator who needs to be stopped. I hope that all these people who have been harassed by this guy will come out and tell their story because they deserve justice. They deserve justice. Richard Murdoch is building his empire with predators and criminals using harry and megan's name to build an empire of criminals people who are hacking phones all of these things criminal things that they are doing honestly i feel like richard Murdoch's empire should just be shut down because he is encouraging all these predators to hack people's phones to tell lies about people and his employees are now the ones who are doing these things to people. Dan Wooten worked for the sun, guys. Wow. If this is not something that's showing you a pattern for all these people who believe the stories that these tabloids come out with, look at the people who are telling these stories. People who have no morals. They have no conscience. People who have no integrity. Criminals. And these are the people that are putting out news false narratives about the sussexes now it has all come to light leave a comment down below guys on what you think about this like share and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next episode bye